welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we're looking at the Beverly Hills Cup Axel F. If you don't know about the franchise this is one of those times when you get to know who's been around. I know I was young when it came out but I was old enough to understand you know what the movie was talking about like you know to comprehend the movie and enjoy it growing up that's one of my best movies ever it was it was a classic 30 years later we get to revisit this stuff again and the, uh, the characters resurface and uh, i'm going to tell you what i thought about the movie i'm going to you know grade it i'm going to rate it and um I'm going to share my opinions about it uh, right off the back. I'm going to say I love the movie. Maybe a little bit biased because um, I'm just a big fan of Eddie Murphy. Like I I'll probably be seen through all the mistakes and not really seen the mistakes. I probably be, you know, I, I think I'm biased. Like I just love him. I I think he killed the role of Axel Foley. I think it's one of his best um, revisits. Well, how many has he revisited now? Coming to America and this one, I guess. So this is a better revamp. Let's start with the positive. First on the positive is um, the fact that he's there. He's still looking very young, a lot younger than his age. Still looks fit, like he could actually fight. He's um, still got the sense of humor, which all kept the movie going. And then the voice, the voice didn't change. He sounded just like the same kid from back in the days, 21 year old. His voice is probably going to outlive his character, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, he said not long ago that he's, he's, um, he's still on Shrek, the new Shrek coming out. That's going to be interesting. So, like I said, his voice is going to make more way for him while, even while he's old because I think he's even at his oldest age maybe when he's 80 he still might be able to do those characters um, voice wise okay so um, that's a good thing but the, for me the voice did it all like you know spoke the same way the same you know you know if I close my eyes I just still see the 21 year old Eddie Murphy okay because the voice sounded on point like just just like it it was um what else again a lot of copies from the original one i think they revamped some shots some ideas you know a lot of uh, things were picked from the original one which i won't mind doing i don't think anything is wrong with that um the cinematography was very good. Um, the cinematography was good, however, mm, and then I'll talk about the directing later. But the cinematography, I, I was quite uh, satisfied with it. I thought it was, you know, good, considering that the guy who uh, who shot the movie was shooting. Well, I think the guy who directed was for the first time. I, I, um, Whoever shot it, I think I need to look into who shot, who was actually behind the cameras, okay? And if I do, I'll write it on the screen. Um, the cinematography was good. The music, it's probably one of the most popular movie soundtracks ever. For me, that's the, you know, I think it's, uh, Game of Thrones will be somewhere down the line, like number four. But for me, number one will be Beverly Hills Cop. Oh man. And I love the way they use it. They can make a slower version of it and make it feel emotional that they kind of used to introduce a scene. Something like. Dun, 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 dun. And then there's, and then they establish the shot, and then the voice coming up, and you know stuff like that. Things that were revisited from the previous film, the usual kind of um, action, and I, I, I don't have no problems with that. Um, stolen cars, stolen uh, snowplow, uh, truck, helicopter. This time, this was the first time he picked an helicopter and <laughs> you know without giving anything away i think uh, uh watching the second time i think i was just over excited 
I think I was overexcited because I'm, I'm just a big fan, you know, and I barely saw errors in the, you know, in the first take. So when I, when all the excitement had died down and, you know, I settled down to watch again, I was like, okay, it's all right. Not as great as I thought for the first take because I was expecting, I was excited. And even the music was getting me going, you know, even when the acting was not on point I, other things were catching me like you know so when I got a little bit settled I was like okay uh, without being distracted by the music um, this could have been better that could have been better Mm-mm-mm, not so good for me was the fact that um, maybe a little bit on the directing um, the casting wasn't the best option for me but I understand this is not a this is not, I don't want to go too thorough because this is not a cinema movie. Um, it's a free watch from, you know, that you could see on Netflix. I mean, it's, I know you pay monthly subscription for for that, but that could have been a movie. Uh, while I think um, it was a good thing not to sh- not to do a, a cinema version, like try to get it in the movies, I think uh, it still could make um, the, the cinema next time if they write it very well a lot a lot better like in my head I, I see so many opportunities of making this a, a movie that everybody wants to go and see I'll just go ahead and rate it now I'll say it. I'll give it a four stars for me now we know there's gonna be a Beverly Hills 5 uh, but this actual elf if I will rate it and I don't want you to think it wasn't that great because I think it's the fourth of all for me. <laughs> I've seen uh, a lot of people uh, say it's, it's the third. Like, um, of course, we are, nobody can contest um, the original Axel Foley. Um, the original Beverly Hills Cup one is a classic and is untouchable. Number one. Part two is my number two. Part three is my number three. And this is my number four. And I. Uh, and that doesn't mean this wasn't good. For now, what comes to my head is number four. Why? It's basically because then it was fresh. You tell me what you think, what your thoughts are. I really think that this, uh, it really did it for me. And um, I really like to go watch all the episodes again. And, um, you know, maybe in an, some other time, maybe when I talk about the spoiler reviews, um, I can, you know, re-rate, re, you know, re-rank um, the one to four just to confirm um, after re-watching again. But for now, I'll say it's the fourth best. And um, yeah, nice, nice one. Nice one. I must go ahead and and clap and celebrate the fact that it came back. I would rather have it than not have it. I would rather have it a, a part five than not have it. Yeah, I've been ranting for a little long. How about you guys? What do you think? I'd love to see your comments in the description, uh, in the comment section below. I'd love to see your comments, please. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, I can't forget ending it ended the same way not similar ways that all the other episodes ended with a trust me <laughs>